Hello everyone, I'm Joshua Marks, and today I'm sharing the story of my ancestral DNA using two powerful tools that reveal just how ancient and Mediterranean Ashkenazi Jewish roots really are. We'll explore my results from the LM Genetics K36 Genetic Similarity Report and a detailed Global 25 Ancient Admixture Model prepared by a close friend and fellow researcher. Together, these tools paint a clear picture of how my DNA traces back to the ancient Israelites with meaningful contributions from Roman Italy and steppe-influenced Eastern Europe. Let's start with the K36 analysis. The K36 tool created by Lucas Makuga and hosted at LM Genetics uses the N Monte algorithm to compare your DNA to hundreds of global populations. Unlike ethnicity reports that give vague continental percentages, K36 goes granular down to regions, islands, and even subpopulations. Here's what it revealed about my DNA as a 100% Ashkenazi Jew. In my most ancient configuration, no penalty, 1% threshold, my DNA matches most closely with 24% Patmos, a Greek island in the Dodecanese, 15% Lebanese Maronite, 13% Molise, a region in southern Italy, 11% Cantabria in northern Spain, with smaller signals from Portugal, Saudi Arabia, Romania, and Yemen. Now, this doesn't mean I have recent ancestry from all these places. It means that, genetically, my DNA is most similar to these regional populations, which are themselves descended from ancient Mediterranean and Near Eastern groups. For Jews, this reflects our historic dispersion out of the Levant and into surrounding lands after the Babylonian exile, the Roman conquest, and centuries of migration. In the more recent configuration, using a slight penalty and lower threshold, my top result is Malta at over 53%. It's not that I have Maltese ancestry, but Malta sits at a genetic intersection of ancient Levantine, North African, North African, and Southern European DNA. Just like Jews who lived in the Mediterranean during Roman and Byzantine times. Other matches include Basilicata and Apulia in Italy, Patmos again, Cyprus, and smaller contributions from Iraq, Poland, and Germany. These patterns support what we already know about Ashkenazi formation. Our people emerged through admixture in Southern Europe before migrating into Central and Eastern Europe in the Middle Ages. The PCA and dendogram plots place my sample closest to Ashkenazi Jews, Maltese, Southern Italians, and Greeks. This reflects both Middle Eastern and Southern European ancestry exactly the profile we expect from a Jewish population that originated in the ancient Levant and later settled in Roman territories. But what about the deeper past, thousands of years ago? That's where my Global 25 results come in. A friend of mine, T. Harari, who specializes in genetic modeling, helped create this three-part ancient DNA breakdown using Global 25, a data set based on real archaeological genomes from the Iron Age and classical worlds. Here's what he found. Component 1. Israelite, 44%. That This is the largest portion of my ancestral DNA, and it's rooted in the ancient Levant. Key source samples include Samaritans, representing living descendants of Iron Age Israelites who never left the region and ancient Canaanite samples from Ashkelon in the Late Bronze Age. This Israelite component likely reflects my Jewish forebears who lived in ancient Judah and Israel before the Diaspora. 
It also aligns closely with my maternal haplogroup, J1C14, which has been found in Ashkenazi Jews and in Phoenician-associated bur burials from Sardinia, suggesting a deep and possibly continuous maternal lineage in the Levant. These findings support the idea that core Ashkenazi ancestry is rooted in Iron Age Southern Levant populations, Israelites, Canaanites, and Judeans, before the spread of Jewish communities throughout the Mediterranean. Component 2, Italic, 35%. The second largest ancestral signal comes from ancient Italy, particularly the Roman and pre-Roman periods. Top matches include Iron Age Republican era individuals from Central Italy, possibly early Romans or their Etruscan and Latin neighbors. These, this Italic ancestry suggests significant admixture with Southern Italians, either from Roman era conversions or long established Jewish communities in Italy, such as those in Rome, Naples, and Bari. It may also reflect my paternal haplogroup, R-FGC61403, a subclade of R1B-U106, which likely entered the Jewish population from male-mediated gene flow during the Roman period. This line is rare in Jews today, but present in Ashkenazi paternal clusters, hinting at Roman or Italic ancestry absorbed into the Jewish community. This italic layer points to a formative period for Ashkenazi Jews, when Jewish communities existed in the Roman Empire and intermarried with or converted local populations, particularly in southern Italy. Component 3, Scythian, 21%. The third component comes from Iron Age steppe populations from the Black Sea region, specifically samples from ancient Ukraine. This steppe ancestry likely reflects later additions to the Ashkenazi gene pool after our, our ancestors moved into Eastern Europe, possibly through interaction with Slavic, Baltic, or Eastern Iranian groups. These influences were absorbed during the centuries of migration and settlement in Poland, Ukraine, Belarus, and Lithuania. So what does it all mean? In summary, my ancestral profile looks like this. 44% ancient Israelite from Iron Age Judah, Israel, and Samaria. 35% Italic from Roman and, Roman and pre-Roman Italy. 21% Steppe from Iron Age Black Sea populations in Eastern Europe. These results paint a vivid picture of Ashkenazi Jewish origins. They began, began in the Levant with Israelites and, and Canaanites. Through conquest and diaspora, Jews moved into the Roman world, mixing with Italic peoples. Later, as communities migrated into Eastern Europe, additional genetic layers were added. This journey is reflected in my DNA, and likely in yours too, if you're Ashkenazi. If you're curious to explore your own ancestral roots with this level of detail, I highly recommend the K36 report by LM Genetics and ancient modeling with Global 25 using tools like Vahaduo or GED Match with the help of an experienced analyst. Thanks for listening. I'm Joshua Marks. Stay tuned for more videos on Jewish ancestry, genetics, and history. And let's keep uncovering the stories our DNA has to tell.